And you'll, you'll simply read the line completely out of context. And then after that first take, the director may, may already know what's going on in the episode. And they can fill you in. It's like, and once you know that, then you're like, oh, so the way I should say no is completely different than what I gave on the first read. Because there's a million different ways you can say no. 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 <laughs> and if you just see that line of dialogue with no and in quotes, it's like, and nothing else around it, what do you have to go on? And that is the, the eternal struggle we as actors for anime, video games, cartoons, or, or go on. I mean, well, well with cartoons, they, they do line read, I mean, script reads, table reads, and all that. That's all cool. We don't have the benefit of that. Production timelines are tight. The turnaround is like, all right, Wendy Powell, you're going to direct this show, and you have three days to cast it. And we're going to start, and we're going to need like the first three DVD volumes uh, completely in the can by, you know, whatever. Some, that's something ludicrous. You're like, oh my god, okay, well, I'm going to freak out. And he's like, that was your question of me? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I just make everyone sound like strong man. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Okay, so people are going to try out for an article. craft. And when I call Wendy, I always call her Wendy Powell. So, Wendy Powell! <laughs> right on. So yeah, we're, we're always given very little information. When we go in the booth to record, we don't know what's going to happen that day. All we know is we have to be there at 11 a.m., maybe for an hour or two. And once we get there, get the small talk out of the way. Oh, it's great to see you. Okay, cool. All right, in this episode, your character's going to get their butt kicked. Oh, okay, that's great. <laughs> and then we'll preview the line in Japanese, and then you'll dub it line by line. But there's no dubbing, actually, in the anime, in the audition process. At right, least, you're not actually yeah. having to flat match or do any sort of dubbing. There's no video at all. Well, they're cut out for you to some of his other scenes. Yeah. But he just uses the sound. Uh -huh. And you don't ever get to hear the voice or anything, but it's just like music in the background, and he uses it so that you can see the character physically move. So you can get kind of a... He spends a lot of time on that, and he's the only director I know that does that. And that's good. That's, that's rare. They don't do that in L.A. <laughs> Ah. Yeah. So we got uh, we got some Naruto characters here, and what we're gonna do is just take some volunteers. Not yet. Volunteer. <laughs> I've got four characters, and I will pass these out and give you a few moments to look over them, and then you're gonna come up here, and I'm gonna hand you the mic, and uh, we're gonna have you basically perform it, and we'll critique it, have you do it a second time. And then move on to the next person, and it's pretty typical of what happens when a new person comes in. So you're in and you're out. So kind of work those nerves out of your system and be confident and uh, take your craft seriously. It's like, no, I'm not going to go in there because I'm a fan of the show and I love anime. I'm going in there because I'm an actor and I want to impress this director so they will call me in and use me. And remember, if you don't get cast, it's not because you were bad or anything, necessarily. <laughs> you may have just not been what they thought would be appropriate for the role. They may love your audition and save it for the future reference and call you in six months or a year later for a completely different show. And then you'll be like, you get a call out of the blue, like, what? Oh yeah, that director wants you to read for this show. Like, okay. And you've moved on with your life, and now you're, you know, <laughs> you know working at Starbucks and going, oh, I, but I gave up for a second. But no, you got to stick to it, you know. This is not a, a craft you can just, like, do occasionally, even though you only work occasionally. You really have to just be 100% committed to this thing. Totally. It's like any other form of acting. All the actors are waiters and <laughs> working customer service and retail and other side jobs because acting just doesn't pay enough to really... Support yourself unless you're a big celebrity. Unless you're big as an established, and the same is true in voice acting. It's not as competitive, but and it's uh, voice actors kind of support each other, so it's easier to network and you know get your name passed around. But you you really got to take your craft seriously. So during all that downtime when you're not getting called in to audition, take classes, get involved in, in your school plays and community theaters and, or get or come from where I did, go into radio. You can learn about mic technique and different things. Take dialects, work on accents, work on... Uh, work on not having an accent. Yeah, <laughs> work on losing that accent. She loses it at a drop of a hat. 
You do? I sometimes do. You sometimes do. You don't hear him be talking like that now, do you? Sometimes you do, but not <laughs> Maybe on take one. <laughs> so, hey, all right, that little pipsqueak? Like, uh, 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 it's from two Texas. <laughs> I've had that too. Chris Savage called me on it. I'm like, doing the DBZ narrator. It's like, that's a little two Texas twang. <laughs> Next time on <laughs> Dragon <laughs> Get her done! <laughs> Get her done, Goku! <laughs> so, no, keep it, basically yeah. what he's saying is when you're not working, you're still working. You're working on improving. And Always. That's what he's saying. Mm -hmm. Yep. Even though we're all human, it's okay to get depressed about it. It's like, they're not calling me in because I'm going through that rub right now. The past year has just been awful. The economy is awful for everyone. It's affected every, every industry. I audition all the time. I just don't work that much. That's just, that's just the truth of it. But that will change. That will change. This you have to, shall pass. Yes. You have to believe that it's going to be all right. Believe it. You believe it? I believe it! Yeah! Great! Believe in yourself. Yeah, believe in yourself. Believe in the comedy dude. Believe in... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. We can do this. We've got four characters. We're going to do this. All right. Uh, I would like a female volunteer for Naruto. We're going to stay in uh, the whole Naruto ring, 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 ring. Okay. And you the script here. I think you've done this well, not at a convention, but... Not a convention? Okay. Uh, all right, Orochimaru. That's a dude, by the way. <laughs> we got dudes. We got dudes. Yay, dudes. All right, dudes. How far does it stretch? Sakura. Sakura, yes. Can you come forward, please? I wish I had a wireless mic. Then I can feel like Phil Donahue. And no one knows who that is now. I, 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 I said it yesterday on panel two, and I was like, there was dead silence. Two like, Phil Donahue references in one weekend. Uh -huh. And the kids are like, Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> like my space reference. Nobody got that either. Yeah. You just have to say, Jonas Brothers? Oh, yeah. Oh, and Kiba. Someone needs to take my job away. <laughs> Kiba, are you good at reading? Like, really good at reading? Oh, yeah? Um, oh, that'd be cool. All right. <laughs> this will be interesting. All right, here's your script. <laughs> Let me talk about this reading thing. I didn't mean to throw them off because this reading thing. This thing. Meanwhile, you guys with your scripts, look it over. But uh, the whole read thing, we have to do what's cold, called cold reading. You don't have any advanced knowledge of it. You don't get to, to study it weeks in advance. and. Because I'm trying out for Naruto, so I'm going to go online and download fan subs. Dun, 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 dun. Like, no, 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 you don't have that time. All you know is they called me, they booked me for the audition. I have to be there tomorrow morning at 9.30 a.m. So you get there, you get there at 9.15-ish. And you sign in. And it's like, all right, good to meet you. Very nice, thanks for coming in. And here's who you're trying out for. You read the script, sit down in the lobby, make some choices. Then you're going to go, to go in the booth. And given that very little information, you have to create a character. It can be a little overwhelming for a lot of people. But this cold read skill is absolutely essential. You know? I mean, is there anything you'd add to that? Yes. If you mess up on the cold read and you say some other word that's not really on that paper, or you pronounce a word incorrectly, or you butcher a Japanese name, sometimes I do that, mm -hmm. um, you just keep going. Try not to let it bluster you and just keep going and stay in the character as much as possible or simply ask to start over yeah. at that point. Yep. I mean if it's if you messed up so bad that you're you're no longer in character, I would just start over and quit and just start rereading it. But otherwise just stay committed to it because the pronunciations and all that stuff doesn't is not really what's important right. for the read as much as the commitment to the read. Yeah. So my strongest advice, if you blow a line, don't sit there and get flustered and go, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, can I start over, can I start over? Just take